So, you want to learn how to make a 2D game. I'm going to tell you right here, right now, you really don't need much skill to get started with my series. So let's get started right away with this introduction video. What are you going to be needing? You will need a bit of basic computer knowledge, but it really doesn't include much apart from typing, clicking, and you know the most difficult skill, file management. Now that's, that's the most difficult skill on this list, and I'm pretty sure that most of you that are watching this right now are pretty coherent with file management, so you should be okay there. Um, you will need a brain that works because you're going to be doing some logical stuff uh, that will require logical decisions. Um, so, and you're going to be doing a bit of maths, maybe a bit of physics, so, you know, you will need a brain that works. You're also going to be needing a computer. Um, you really can use any old computer, really. Most computers should be fine for this job. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to recommend Pentium 4, Windows XP Service Pack 3, Mac OS 10.6 or higher. Just, just for some of the software that we're going to be using, you know, uh, only supports. Um, there's these specs at minimum, and also Giga RAM. Uh, you know, just so you don't run some of the software and just start screaming at your computer because it takes like 10 minutes just to load one element. Um, but yeah, I'd suggest that at the minimum. And maybe some extra cash because we are going to be needing f uh, software like Photoshop and Illustrator. It's not necessary, you know, you can start making games with zero, you know, with absolutely nothing. This is more of an optional one. Um, so, what we're going to be learning first off in this series, first 20 or so tutorials, we're going to be learning something called a programming language. Now, uh, I believe the official uh, Google definition of a programming language is an artificial language made to send instructions to a machine. Um, a programming language is primarily used to create com sorry, computer software. Um, the most popular pro pro programming languages that I managed to pick out were C, C Sharp, C++, Objective-C, Java, and Python. Uh, the language we're going to be learning and using throughout the series is indeed Java, and along with Java we'll be using a library called libgdx. We'll dive into uh, libgdx you know, later on, so you don't have to worry about that. But we're going to be using a language called Java, and there's two big reasons why. The first one is so we can deploy to a wide range of platforms, and the second one is that it's one of the easiest languages to learn. So, what platforms will I be able to publish to? Well, for free, you can publish to all desktop uh, operating systems, Windows, Mac, and Linux. You can also publish for free uh, to the web using HTML5. You can also publish uh, on iOS, which includes iPhone, iPad. You will require a Mac, and it will cost you about $400 per year. Uh, you know, you need uh, two two separate licenses for that. $400 per year. However, if you're a student, it will only set you back $200 a year. That's for iOS. You can also publish to Android. Uh, that will be a $25 one-off fee. That's pretty much it for this introduction video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, enjoyed this little insights into this series, and hopefully you guys will be following along with this. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll probably be setting up everything, installing a lot of software, doing a lot of boring crap, uh, but in tutorial 3, we'll get started with the nitty-gritty nice stuff. So, hopefully I'll see you guys then. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, and go ahead and definitely subscribe. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys, and I'll see you next time.